Hello and welcome to the Friday, March 1st, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Today we have a treat for everybody into malware analysis and it's a diary by John Mutos, uh, one of our sans.edu bachelor's degree interns. The diary covers a recent instance of Darkgate. Darkgate, uh, as John describes, a persistence as a service malware. The goal of Darkgate is to assist other malware to install on various systems. So you can rent Darkgate if you need to install malware on systems. In this particular case, it all started fairly harmless with a PDF. The PDF itself was not malicious. It just contained a link that then via double click, interestingly, so essentially as an ad, directed the victim to the actual malware that was then downloaded. Now there's too much detail here to cover it all in this uh, podcast, but just a couple of highlights here. Part of the installer, for example, is a valid Apple uh, binary, iTunes helper.exe, digitally signed and everything, and uh, will pass all the sort of sanity checks, but it's delivered with two DLLs, then, and these DLLs are then where you find the malicious code that will cause uh, additional malware to be installed. So uh, lots of interesting details here about this malware and the very detailed analysis by John. Like I said, if you are at all into malware analysis, you'll probably enjoy how uh, he sort of walks you through the process here to identify the different parts of this malware. And the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA, did publish an update on some of the exploits that they're seeing against Ivanti Connect Secure and the Policy Secure Gateways. I've mentioned the vulnerabilities a few times already, and uh, yes, they have been exploited for a while. There are a couple interesting tidbits I want to point out in this particular advisory, and that's based on some of the compromises have been seen in the wild. Lots of good details here if you're still using an Avanti product. Uh, Also important to note that uh, factory reset may not be sufficient to evict the threat actor from the appliance. So uh, follow the detailed advice here. If you are being hit by any malware, take advantage of one of the recent Avanti vulnerabilities. And researchers at Apiro have identified over 100,000, they say it may be actually millions of GitHub repositories that are malicious. And all of uh, these uh, repositories were created in, well, the same way. They basically take an existing repository, they clone it, they infected with a malware, then they upload it back to GitHub, use identical names, of course, under a different account, and then they automatically fork this malicious uh, library or a repository several thousand times. The goal here is just to flood GitHub with sort of lookalike repositories that are malicious, kind of uh, just by random chance, tricking developers into downloading the wrong software. Just yet again, a good reminder that you probably need to double check that you're downloading the correct repository. More details in Pyro's blog. And Consumer Report has an article that they found a particular type of doorbell camera that is being sold under various brand names on Amazon that distinguishes itself not just with its very low price, but also with its blatant security vulnerabilities. Apparently, most of the communication is not encrypted they were able to access the doorbell camera remotely. There is not a lot of detail here about what the exact nature of that vulnerability is about, but I assume some kind of cloud configuration or so vulnerability, how this particular doorbell is then making images accessible remotely. 
This is, of course, always something that's sort of a typical Internet of Things kind of issue where you have uh, some uh, low-end manufacturer throwing out a product and then it's being sold under dozens or even hundreds of different brand names on websites like Amazon. The main reason I cover this here is because if Consumer Reports is writing about it, you may hear about it. So uh, be ready for questions regarding these cameras. These are not sort of your well-known brands like uh, Ring and the like. Probably if you do need a doorbell camera, it tends to be best to stick with one of the well-known brand names, even if they do cost a little bit more or even better, stick with a solution that keeps everything on premise if possible. And then in sort of a sad but true category here, yes, we had a leap year this day and apparently that's new to companies that you trust with your security like Citrix, Sophos and others. Also have heard about Electronic Arts, uh, some games having issues there. But uh, yes, if you experienced issues uh, on Thursday that may be due to February having 29 days uh, this year. And then, of course, this weekend, we'll have our graduation for our Science Technology Institute. So just want to give a quick shout out to, to all the graduates. Hope to see many of you on Saturday. That's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again on Monday. Bye.